Welcome Eagle Feathers, the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Buys. This is your work and money forecast for the week of February the 27th until March the 5th. Please be mindful to support this platform by providing the likes, by commenting, sharing, and please subscribe. Now let's prepare for what messages the greatest source would like to relate to you for this week's work and money. I hope you enjoy it and please stay away. Awesome, Mir. Welcome back, Eagle Feathers, to the Tarot Temple once again for work, money, and romance. It is my pleasure to bring you your weekly forecast every week that I can, and I hope you have had a good week. Um, I got some impression that you all may be nearing something today as you get this. But whatever it is, you're kind of ready, you know, you're feeling good about getting it over with. I don't know if it's your weekend, you know, from work, some project you're working on. I don't know what it is, but I feel like you've been busy, busy, busy. And now you're at that place where you can finally get something done. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of get that little break. You know, it's not over. You're just getting that little break. You know what I'm saying? So um, what we're going to do is thank all of the newcomers for stepping into the temple and making this their study hall, making this their place for personal growth and spiritual elevation. Um, also, I want to encourage you to um, support the temple with likes and comments because this adds to your merit to the merit system, which means that because of those likes, Scorpio, you was at the bottom of the scale, but because a couple of people decided to give some thumbs. I moved you up. Therefore, you get a little bit more. Um, you got in the same category as Taurus and Libra. So I'm going to want to thank you so much for that. Okay. So you're moving up a little bit. So you'll get a, a full spread and a summary and a spiritual vibe oracle message. But hopefully you're one of those who would like to get a little bit more insight, would like to see what other tools can be used. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please check out the premieres, particularly Gemini and Aquarius, okay? And you will see some of the things that you're missing out on, okay? Because um, one thing I love about tarot is that it's very personal. And I know when it comes to human behavior, people love to hear about themselves. They love hearing about themselves. So if you want to know a lot more, have, you know, your forecast extended, you know, Let's get busy. You know what I'm saying? Fair exchange. There's no robbery. All right. Again, um, thank you so much, faithful ones, um, those who have been subscribers and have been faithful to the temple since they arrived. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started with your overall energy being the will of fortune. And that is based on the five of pentacles. You can expect the page of pentacles. And all of that energy is coming from the page of wands. And your outcome is the six of cups. Okay, conflict and or challenge and supportive blessed energy we'll discuss in a minute. Your underlying energy this week for work, money, and romance is the page of pentacles. Okay, and um, I'm, I'm hearing offer, small offer. I don't know if this is coming to you or from you. Okay. Some of you, this is dealing with payment. You know, you work hard, you pay your bills. Um, and, and I'm hearing that you're making the precise payment. So I'm guessing whatever is due, that's exactly what you're going to pay. Um, but I keep hearing an offer. You're going to offer somebody something. I don't know if it's going to be as a gift, you know, or it's an offer, like, if you know, with an exchange okay underneath that energy is my environmental card okay um this may be with somebody you like maybe maybe they're not that into you or maybe i'm also hearing charity Whoever this feminine is, she's keeping a grip on things. You know, I feel like, like there's a like here, like 
somebody really likes this feminine, but and I'm not saying she don't like the masculine energy. I'm putting this in the masculine energy. This could be a Leo. You may have that strongly aspected in your chart. Some type of fire energy somewhere in your environment. I, I, I'm hearing care. Like they care, but for some reason, they're kind of checking it. They're kind of keeping the masculine energy in check. And I'm also hearing snout. I don't know why. Snout. Um, you know, it's a lot of sayings, you know, out here in the world. And I don't know what part of the world you're from. When you're viewing this video, I have people from all over the globe checking in. But what is it about a snout? I feel like it's some saying about a snout. Maybe I'll look that up. But I see underneath something. Somebody's been stalling, making a decision. They've been protecting their heart. Oh, this person's protecting their heart. They're protecting their feelings. They're thinking something through. I do feel like it's the feminine. I do feel like this is the masculine. It could be vice versa. But like I said, somebody's checking, keeping something in check. And an offer is coming. Now, for those of you who are in a relationship, they're probably checking your behaviors. You know? Because I feel like this, for some of you, this could be outside of your relationship. You like somebody outside of your relationship. And this woman is checking you on that because she knows. Look at that. Somebody's guarding her heart. That's, didn't I say I, I feel like it's not that she don't like you. It's not that the feminine don't like you. But somebody is guarding their heart. This is at work or at home. This is some type of environment. And for others of you, this is your financial environment as well. Something's being checked. Your money's being checked. Something's being checked. And then we have this three uh, pentacles here. A clandestine meeting could be um, you and somebody else. And maybe this is about checking you on something or a check, you know, money, a debit, whatever. Okay. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. We're going to move on. It's all based. Ooh, okay. It's all based on the five of pentacles. Now, this could be about your job. You know, you might get some corrections here this week about your money. About your check or making sure things are clear about your hours, about your pay or whatnot. Also, this is about necessities, okay? And I say about paying bills, maybe even going to the grocery store, getting the things that you need, you know, and you're being very precise. Um, some of you may be making a list. If you don't, I suggest you do. I said that in another um, recording, and I've said this to you before, okay? List are good because it it keeps you from deterring and and overspending okay Go, you know sometimes when we don't do that we get off track and even if you do say get a few items off the list you don't go overboard because you are very conscientious about the budget you see what i'm saying so this is dealing with a budget for some of you others of you this is just where you go to work and i feel like in some parts and places the weather might not be that great this week, okay? It may not be that great this week. Um, some of you are doing this, getting what you need because of something that you like. This is a reason. Or is it stemming from something that you like? Uh, for some of you, you go to work because um, this feminine is your stimulation. You like going to work. This is a mutual attraction. Then I tell you, I said, I don't think it's that they don't like you. But they keep it in check. And I do feel like somebody is in a relationship. So they're guarding their heart. Okay. I, and I feel like it's not that you really like this job. 
I mean, it's cool and everything. It pays the bills. I don't feel like you're getting your worth. But what excites you about going is this relationship. Is this connection. Okay, this is very physical, okay? For others of you, um, you have a project that you're working on, probably something that you're trying to get off the ground, something that you hope to present to the world one day. So you go to work to fund this. And that's why you're being very precise because you're balancing a couple of things at once. You know what I'm saying? And um, you're trying to keep your financial environment in check. You know, you're becoming, you're becoming more conscientious. For whatever reason, you're being very conscientious about your spending. Okay, you're getting just what you need. Um, and I'm hearing you going to work because you need to go to work. Because I think this is, for somebody, this is about breaking free. I'm also hearing on call. I don't know if this has to do with a project at work and maybe they're going to call you on your off day and give you no little extra or small you know offer maybe they're going to pay you a little bit more for this i don't know but let's let's find out what's going on here for this week's worth of money and a romance again if the message doesn't resonate with you that's cool you know, just move around to the other videos because if it don't fit, you can acquit. However, if this message fit, please knit your story together. All right. I always encourage people to come back and re-review things, especially if you feel like something is nudging you. You feel like something is like, oh, wow, I think I need to go back because of something that you think I said that's hitting home. All right. The reason. Somebody, you know, they working, but they still be looking for you. Yeah. Somebody you met. This is all about like. This is all about like. And I'm also hearing somebody's thinking about sending you a message because they really like you. They want to interact with you. Okay, and I keep hearing also an offer, some type of offer. I don't know if this is an emotional offer. I don't know if you're bringing a physical offer. I don't know if you're taking it to this feminine. I don't know if this somebody in a position at work. Because this person right here be, be watching. Should be checking. I feel like it's something going on at work. Like two feminines and a masculine here. Somebody want to interact with you. Maybe checking back. I don't know to see if you've shown up, you know, to, but they be checking back, you know. They're always checking to see what you're doing, you know. Even if it's in your environment, they may go do other things, but they check back. They come and see what's going on because they, they really like, this is, this is somebody that really likes somebody. a lot to do with your work and and, and, and and making money. I don't know. There's a need here for some reason. I'm also hearing a low budget. So there's some budget cuts here, okay? 
like I said, some people have been very conscientious um, about money. Uh, for some of you, there may be some budget cuts. Maybe they're cutting back hours. If, at, at not necessarily downsizing, but there are some budget cuts on the job. But for some reason, they like you. Okay, that's a sad note. But for others, this is more the romance department at work. Okay, and I see that um, you're thinking up something. You're thinking up something. You're trying to figure something out, trying to figure out what you want to do with this offer. Trying to figure it out. I'm also hearing something about a deposit. I don't know if you're thinking about or thinking about giving someone a gift, like a small gift, a small offer. You're thinking about this. Or maybe it came to you and you're trying to figure out what you want to do with it. But whatever it comes from, either someone you're attracted to or you think about something that you like, a project, an instrument, some material. I don't know what you're working with. I don't know what you do. Just figuring out how much this is going to cost. Somebody's weighing the idea of that. Like, I know she could use it. I know he could use it. I know he or she needs it. I really like them. I'm really attracted to them. To them. You know, maybe we can get closer. Because this person, because you know they like you, but you just, somebody's closed off. You know, they're protecting their heart. They're not really putting into it. So maybe this is a plan to kind of soften the situation up to soften that person because somebody's been checking back they really like you they really like being in your presence again it go that first of the month again I've been saying this first of the month all February Something about the first of the month. I don't know. But I know the outcome. Somebody's coming back. Somebody's returning. Okay. Um, somebody may be getting flowers. You may be purchasing them flowers. Okay. Because this is like a small gift. A small offer. I don't know but some of you this may be a major risk doing this I don't know if it's the major risk is with the budget I don't know if the major risk is with returning to this person okay because we got the environmental card it's like come to somebody's apartment you know or going on their job doing this okay this is a sweet return. Okay, this is, a, you know, like um, a pleasurable place. This is pleasure. This is em emotional pleasure. Okay, and somebody's returning. Somebody's coming back. Somebody's thinking about buying flowers, a small gift, you know, and it's like that because. You know, you're doing something within your budget. That's that's what it keeps saying. It's something about your budget this week. Overall, um, energy is the will of fortune, okay? Now, this is a, a, a turnaround, a change of events. Somebody.
much trying to figure out what makes the other click, what makes them tick. You know, they're trying to change the circumstance, okay? It's, it, I'm hearing soap opera. Like, this is like a soap opera. Like, they're trying to change the circumstance because somebody is involved with somebody. Okay, and that's probably another reason why we have this clandestine meeting here. Okay, you, me, and she. What we gonna do, baby? You, me, and she. What we gonna do, baby? And I'm also here for some of you, this could represent, you know, buying something online in secret. You know, that's why it's third party here. Mm -hmm. The idea of that. Let's see what your challenge is this week. Because I'm here for some of you is taking it to work. Okay. That could be a challenge because how are you going to give it to them? You know. So this is a major change, trying to change things around because you want to work on your project. Some of you, this is where you want, this is where your head is at. Some of you trying to change a situation in a relationship. This is based on through, through work or at your work, at a job, okay? The conflict is this four swords. And I'm hearing a military mind. Some of you, this is about recuperation, getting enough rest. You know, some of you, this is about a revelation about your work and money. This is this could be meditation and prayer about your work and money because somebody has ideas and they want to work on their projects. They are not necessarily wanting to go to this job, but they know they need this job. Because the bills still have to be paid, and this is not off the ground. This is new. This is the, you, this is still new. This is something that's still growing. But you can't let it go. You're just too attracted to the idea. You're just too attracted to the person. So this conflict is either a military-minded person, some of you, you may be conflicted about going to the military and you're praying about that, because you need more. You know, you may be feeling it's necessary financially, okay? Others of you, this could be about recuperation, you know, because I don't know what your job entails, because this seems kind of hard. You know what I'm saying? This seems kind of hard. And who knows, this could be dealing with your body aches and pains and different things of that nature, stuff that make you be, like, prayerful, you know? Rest is a conflict. I'm hearing knee pain, you know, it's, it's shit going on with your body. This is affecting your mind. But for others or somebody, it has to do with the revelation, you know, something that was questioned. do with somebody that was questioning something. You or somebody is questioning something. Hmm. 
let's see what the blessed is or the supportive energy is this here it is this damn page of swords okay so this is what will help you is to get some information to gather some information or just be on the lookout for something i don't know what it is you know standing in wait keeping a watch out for something waiting on a message This person could be waiting and watching out for you. Did I tell you somebody keeps checking? Somebody is checking. But it's in your supportive, blessed energy. Because somebody keeps checking back. They're not just eyeing you down the whole time. You know, because this is like stalking. But that, that was the energy before. I always watch it. But somebody needs to keep an eye out for somebody in this week's working money. That's going to be the supportive, blessed energy. For others of you, this is you need to get all the information first. Okay? You need to be looking out for some information. Which will help the situation. It may be based on this job, on your work. Remember I told you it's something going on at work for somebody somewhere and it's like somebody's doing budget cuts but for some reason they like you and they want you to stay see that's why you're coming back okay let's sum it up shouldn't have been this long yeah you need to get those views up so we get on and get more you know in depth yeah we need to get more in depth with this this is just the beginning of the story. Oh, the beginning of the story. I'm going to keep going, so let's do that. Let's make that more clear, please, for our eagle feathers. Don't forget to support the tempo with those thumbs and those comments. Please share with your friends, your family, your co-workers, your acquaintances. You know, get them in a loop. You know enough to, you know, um compel people to open up their mind, you know what I'm saying, and try things out. You got the fox. Oh, that's that. Yes, crazy like a fox. You know, a fox is sly, clever. You may have to use those skills this week, you know, which is kind of like uh, the Page of Swords energy, okay? You know, smart. Uh, got a... a, a a way about getting around things. Okay? We talked about that, didn't we? How to get around something, how to break it to. Let's see what your underlying energy is. It says time. It's time. Chime, dime, climb, mime, slime, grind. Lime, rhyme, crime, prime, I'm, enzyme. This person may be online. That's probably where you're going to be getting your answers from. I don't know. We're living in a different world. But this four, this, this four swords, is, I'm being told it's a third party person. I don't know what side of the fence this four of swords person is. But they are a conflict and they were questioning something. How to do something, what to do, when to do it. Hmm. Interesting. Let's get you a spiritual vibe oracle message. She's showing me the written words. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll close out. Again, do not forget to support the temple. Thank you very much. Hope you all are doing well. Hey, dear source, what piece of wisdom would you like for me to share with my beautiful eagle feathers? Oh, listen, to, I like this. Be as good to yourself as you can afford. 
and that's the Dow Day team, okay? Be as good to yourself as you can afford the Dow Day team, all right? Underlining energy to that, it says, every time you are tempted to react in the same old way, ask yourself if you want to be a prisoner of the past or a pioneer of the future. And that's from Deepak Chopra. Deepak Chopra, okay? I'm going to leave it here, Eagle Feathers. Thank you once again for tuning into the Tarot Temple for your weekly work, money, and romantic guidance. You know, I can't wait to bring you another one next week if I can. But until then, remember to walk by faith and by sight. I can't wait to see you next week. Hotep, which means peace be unto you. And one love.